So I'm here now with uh, Robert Hewson, the Head of Communications with Saab, who's just going to give us a brief overview uh, of uh, the differences in the aircraft, the capabilities, and a little bit about sales. So uh, welcome, Rob. Hello, thanks for, for having us. And as you say, the, the aircraft behind us here, this is the, the Gripen E from Saab. This is without question the most advanced combat aircraft in development anywhere in the world. Forget what anybody else is telling you. This is the future. This aircraft is brand new. We flew it for the first time last year. And while it, it looks like the Gripen, our extremely successful multi-role combat aircraft, and it shares all of the genes of the Gripen, it, this is quite a new aircraft. Uh, it's uh, it's bigger, it's faster, it goes further, it carries more payload, it has a host of new systems, it has a new AESA radar, it has a new IRST system over the nose. These are key counter stealth systems, by the way. It has a fantastic new cockpit. It has by far the most capable electronic warfare system under development anywhere in the Western world today. And all of these are things that you can see uh, on the outside here. You can also see the, the huge array of weapons. We have a, an incredible capability to to integrate weapons from anywhere very quickly, very effectively. The real secret of this aircraft, though, you, you, you can't see. You won't be able to see it at, at, at all. It's inside. The way that we have designed the, the systems architecture, the computer systems on this aircraft, it's totally unique. It's totally unique. We've done something that has never been done before in, in fighter design. And, and this sounds kind of dry and technical, but what we've done is we have separated the operational and the flight functions. Okay. The systems that fly the aircraft and yeah. the systems that fight the aircraft, they're separate. So if you want to change one thing, you can go in and you can do it without messing up everything else. And that's a big problem with other fighter aircraft. Any other aircraft that you see at the show today, these systems are combined. And when you change something, you don't really know what you've done to everything else. So you have to retest you have to requalify. that's a huge cost and cost is what's destroying modern air forces aircraft now are simply too expensive to own and operate and that is the real quiet revolution with this aircraft and obviously you've been very successful sales wise as a result of uh, uh, this development program can you just give us an overview of uh, sales you've uh, you've succeeded with and uh, where you're planning to go in the future maybe absolutely i mean as you know gripen is well established with customers now across two continents we're in europe we're in asia pacific uh, and now with the gripen e we have launched customers in sweden for 60 aircraft and in brazil a first batch of of 36 that program is moving ahead on track, on schedule, on cost. Nobody else in this business can tell you that. And we flew the first aircraft, as I said, summer last year. Uh, we're moving forward now to fly the next. We have three test aircraft moving forward for Sweden and the, uh, the uh, special aircraft for Brazil. They will fly soon. This time next year, we will have three aircraft in the air, moving the test aircraft forward. And deliveries will start in 2020-21. Thank you, Robert. And uh, I guess one final point on certification. There is an awful lot of variety of different equipment and there are some new EW systems, as you said earlier. Uh, how is the certification process going? Is it complete or is there some way to go? Uh, it's, it will be completed as part of the, the, the test program, so that will, will pan out over the next couple of years. Certification is, is an absolutely critical issue. And, and a little bit earlier on, we slowed down this program a little bit in order to get this right because we are, again, the first fighter program to certify to civilian standards. And if that sounds a bit odd, civilian standards are much, much higher than regular military standards. There's a far higher standard of compliance. And this comes back to the new system design that I mentioned, where we needed to have total confidence that this thing would work. For the safety of the pilots and for the efficacy of the aircraft, it must work first time every time. So we have designed and certified this thing to an exceptionally high standard and it's all working well. Right, so that obviously includes FAA and EASA type qualification to ensure that the aircraft uh, uh, meets those very high levels of, uh, uh, of reliability and uh, safety. It, it's slightly different to those standards, but it is a, a commercial standard, uh, a civilian uh, airworthiness and aeronautics and electronic equipment standard. Uh, it's a little bit different to a passenger aircraft, um, but it meets standards that have never been reached before in this business. It's something that we're very proud of. Rob, thank you very much for your time. Really enjoyed the talk and uh, good luck with your uh, grip and e. You're welcome.